We got Tim Means with us, coming off of a second victory in a row. First off, man, a couple weeks out from fight night. How you feeling? Feel good. You know, things have been going really well for this for this fight, which I think all the camps at 170 have been. They've been nice food-wise and hydration-wise, so it's been. It's been better not having to train through crazy, crazy weight cuts and hard sparring all the time, and just fighting's got fun over the last four or five fights, man. It's, it's, it, things are just good, falling into place. So with that less weight cutting, you, some people say that they see themselves getting injured less in training too, because they're just not as brittle. Would you say you've seen that too? Uh, I think that's that's definitely fair to say. Um, not to say I don't have dings and dents here and there, but nothing like. Nothing like it was when you were having to maintain training sessions plus cut a lot of weight. So, um, big fan of the new weight cut the UFC has going on, or the new weigh-ins at 10 o'clock in the morning. That last time, that last fight I had, uh, I guess in August, I guess is what it was. But uh, got to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner that day. I had to cut half a pound that morning rather than having to cut 10 pounds or whatever, you know. So, uh, back on with George Lockhart's nutrition plan. So I've been working with him for last few years or whatever, but got got back on board. 100% um, his diet and everything else. He, he creates the meal plans and all that for you. So um, I've been seeing 180 already. Saw 179 earlier. So my weight my weight's falling off without even having to try right now. So I feel good, man. That last pay-per-view event, we saw like three people, crazy amount of people miss weight. Yeah. We hadn't seen that a lot. We had seen a lot of success with the earlier weigh-ins. So you're all in on the earlier weigh-ins. I dig the early weigh-ins. You know, who wants to weigh? I can say that I have waited all day long, having to hold the weight, wait all day long, get to the cameras there in your face, you're dehydrated, you're grumpy, you know, so uh, I think it's nice, you know, so move up and wait if you're not liking the weigh -ins. that's what I did. <laughs> and then the last fight, I mean, last time we talked to you, you broke it down perfectly. He's going to try to swing hard, and you were going to pick him apart, and you did that. Yeah, you know, I, I might have fought a little emotional right out the gate, you know. I wanted to get right in his face and make him earn it, you know. So um, he threw some weather. You know, I think only a couple of them actually got through and landed solid. Most of them were grazing shots. But once I eased off the accelerator, started listening, um, started picking my, picking my shots rather than trying to knock him out with the first one or first two or whatever but it just got real easy from there and then I just wanted to prove a point he made some mean steroid comments and I just want to make sure I, I slapped him a few times where he remembered that and now heading into this fight is there any kind of outside emotion heading into welcoming Oliveira officially I guess to him being a welterweight you know man uh, I, I feel like I lost a little bit of momentum when he stepped in for me no, no personal vendetta towards that dude but uh I had a lot of things going, things fell falling in place for, for the February fight that got canceled and uh, he stepped in and you know I, I put a target on his back and I want to go, uh, I want to go take my, my momentum back. Now not saying anything bad about where you are on the card, but before the allegations we were talking about you in a fight night main event, you come back, you get a TKO like you needed to on a pay-per-view card and now you're just on the prelims again. Or is it, you know, it's such a big card, it doesn't matter what spot you are? Yeah, it's, it, it's just an awesome card, you know what I mean? It's my second fight back, since, for, well, it's my second fight for the whole year, you know what I mean? Or second fight back since USADA. So, uh, they, 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 they featured it as the feature fight on Fight Pass, you know, I'm the third fight, you know, let's be real. But uh, um, they've been selling, they've been putting a lot of good fights on Fight Pass to sell that program. So maybe I'm just part of that, that little pawn or whatever. Um, I don't really care where I'm at on the fight card right now, so uh, earlier the better right now, and I'm just looking to get into a fist fight. I got a lot of things going on. Uh, you know, the holidays, they bring out all kinds of stress and whatever, whatnot, but um, I'm holding all that in, man. I, I'm going to let it all go. I'm going to be the Grinch on uh, December 30th. Being on weight, does that make the holiday season even easier now for you? At least it's just something not to stress about where you're having to watch everybody Christmas. No, man, I'm not getting to eat the pies that I want, you know what I mean, or the empanadas or the tamales or any of that right now, but uh, it's close enough to right after Christmas where there's a whole grip of leftovers, and um, I'm going to kill it whenever I get back. But uh, first things first, man, I, I, you spend money on Christmas, or I've been spending money getting here or whatever, I'm going to get to go and earn a couple checks and, and, and get back home. And This year started out cool and then took a complete different turn, so I'm a little, a little nervous about the new year thing getting here. You know, we're trying to buy a house and a couple things are on the table. So um, one step at a time, I guess, you know, I, I got a fist fight to go let some emotion out. So I'm excited for that.
Now looking at Oliveira, he likes to brawl, he likes to get in close, and he likes to clinch with guys and drag them to the ground. What else? What else is there about his game that I'm missing? Uh, his hands are way low. He jumps into things. He hasn't fought a technical guy like me. Uh, you know, he likes to hang on to that body lock because he truly doesn't like to fight. You know, he, he throws real wild to get inside or whatever to hang on to that stuff. But you know, he's gonna he's gonna step in and catch an elbow or he's gonna catch something stepping in. You're one of the tightest, most technical strikers in the division, so this is a good matchup for you then. Yeah, he's really aggressive and he comes after you, so that, I feel that plays into my strengths. You know, um, he might not stand at at range and, and and try to pick you apart, but he definitely smothers you, and you got to give him respect for that. Uh, he goes to his backside really good, which you see a lot of uh, MMA guys walking to their front side or walking in, walking away from their power. So he understands those concepts, so he has a good IQ for the fight game. Um, I, I I just want to put a beating on the dude. You know, that's the only way I can think about it. Now for you, is there still a lot more that we haven't seen in your game? Because again, the Sabah fight, you got a little emotional right away. So we've seen more of the brawling Tim means. You still got a couple surprises? Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff I do in practice that I haven't got to do in fights or I just haven't done. So uh, it's, it's just about getting more and more comfortable each time out. And uh, those things start, start coming out a little bit um, each time. Uh, there's two different fighters in the world. There's the gym fighter and then there's the competition under the lights fighter. And uh, right now it's just dealing with emotions and dealing with stress levels. Keep it all in check and performing. And uh, right now there's no, there's no pressure or whatever, man. I'm getting to go make some money and then I renegotiate my contract. Is this the, how many fights do you have left on the contract? This is my third fight on it. We, uh, last few fights we've, or last couple contracts we renegotiated the third fight. Um, so everyone's talking all these union talks and all this crap and all i'm thinking about is taking care of me and, and, and my team and, and my family you know it's about us here at fit and i don't need guys that don't know me or uh i don't want to pay union dues to or necessarily don't know running my career so um i'm thinking about us going into 2017 guys here at fit my team here at fit my coaches my family my wife you know i'm thinking about us and then on that tell us about what kind of your thought scene here around the gym we know i believe i can count four world titles five world titles this yeah. year yeah yeah you know um, a lot of tough guys here you know um uh Sadia parker's had a big win bringing a world title back at 185 i i would like to see him at 170 um once he gets his nutrition and everything figured out but that dude's an absolute beast man i've seen him knock guys out where the dudes are asleep on their shoulder on his shoulder he hits a little slick, sick, little little slick angle to step out, and they just face plant it. You know, I mean, that dude has power, has fun written all over him when he fights. Super quiet and just a monster. Steve Hanna had a little bit of a setback his last fight, but you know, if I've learned anything, you learn more from losses than you do from any win. Steve's an absolute monster. One of my one of my training partners. We have Nico just brought back a world title, and she looked outstanding. Her striking to groundwork to her wrestling it all it all looked good it's coming together you know brenda's brenda had a good win her last fight um dealt with her own little issues and injuries stuff like that and she just needs to find her little groove i thought she did that in her last fight with finding range and establishing the power that she does possess you know i think she holds back at times i was impressed with her finally demonstrating some of the muay thai we've seen the boxing yeah. but she put the knees and the elbows out she, there in that she last has fight all those tools and she kind of limits herself to just her jab and um you know it's just a matter of more experience amber had a, had a super tough fight moved up in weight but i think that's going to be a much better weight class for her um i think uh the nutrition and then and, and the weight room is going to help her out a lot you know so um we have an awesome group of guys to train with over here and everyone is humble we want to come in and learn. We don't have Mr. Know-it-alls and all that. Everybody learns. I've learned every day I come in here, I learn something new. And um, we get kind of shadowed or whatever, but why not why, why not have it like that where, you know, we don't need 900 people here. We have a good group of people that we train with, and uh, it's working out for us. And then on a final note, UFC 207, it's on a Friday. Does that change up your week at all, fighting on a Friday instead of a Saturday? Um, no, it doesn't. And, uh, you know, it means I get away on Thursday super early. I was, I saw 179 earlier, working out and doing a little bit earlier for an hour. Um, I don't even feel like I've started cutting weight. I've just been eating good. You know what I mean? Eating 
I'm supposed to and exercise and hydrating. So I, uh, I'm excited for this whole thing coming up for, for, for Vegas, the T-Mobile Arena again, and my family and stuff coming out. And, you know, holidays are supposed to make you jolly, which they have for me, but they've also made me aggravated and a little violent. So I'm, I'm looking to turn it on December 30th, 207. Don't miss 207 because I am showing up to deliver the gifts. And that's the reason to watch the UFC 207 Fight Pass prelims on UFC Fight Pass. Yeah, spend the 10 bucks, you know, it's free seven day trial, cancel right after if you have to, but uh, you know, check it out, I'm showing up to fight. Anyone else you need a shout out to or anything? I think my wife, you know, we've, uh, we love each other and we butt heads, but that's our strongest attribute for each other. It makes us tougher together. Uh, my team here at Fit and HB, always my team at Fit, my coaches, my coaching staff, uh, my mother-in-law Irma for the time and effort she puts in with my girls so that I can continue living the dream sore as heck. So um, just thank you for the people that are constantly there, man. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for the time, sir.